Welcome back to the Stock Market Show. This is your host, Shades. Let's talk about SIDU stock, S-I-D-U. What is so important about space? Space technology. The fact that in the future, we will be using AI and humans to create the technology needed to get into outer space and terraform other planets. This is, I know I'm not, I know, I know. Some of you are like, whoa, 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 Shades, you usually talk about AI stocks and buying bottoms. What is this? This is something new here to the channel. I did some research into space stocks because I do believe in the future we will be in outer space. We will live there as long as we don't, you know, self-destruct here on Earth, right, before that happens. I think terraforming will be in the future. We won't exist unfortunately for that for that maybe we will i don't know i don't see it happening in my lifetime but and i'm 31 but in the future far far in the future before we could even we, before we could even imagine such technology existing the ability to even get to another planet and terraform it and have humans live there and thrive more than anything well you got to think ahead right i always tell you guys think ahead Think ahead, okay? We're still in the infancy stage with AI. So we're thinking ahead and like, wait a minute, quantum computing, okay, that's cool. But what else? Space, space technology, terraforming. How is that? There's going to be companies that are dedicated to space technology. And so getting in early, getting in early obviously means you can net the most return for your money. Now, the reason I'm looking at C CDU, S-I-D-U, is you can see, you guys know me, I love bottoms. I love stocks that bottom out and that have plenty of runs. So, you can see it has plenty of fuel here for gas, whatever you want to call it. has plenty of runs, guys. Look at this. One, two, one huge run here. Then I uh, hear another one. Three, four. Oh, no, that's not a dump. That's, a, that's not a pump. That's a dump. And then a huge dump here. The point I'm trying to make is we do know that this stock, just by looking at the chart, likes to have plenty of runs, likes to bottom out. Now, the question is, has this bottomed out here at 115? And is it going to break out above 1.62? If it does, this can close this gap here to 220. Now, I don't think I would want to invest in this long term, if I'm being honest with you. I don't, I don't you know, space technology and terraforming, That's we're still... That's so far off that probably maybe not a good idea to invest, in my opinion. But there is opportunity to make money on the pumps because people will get excited. Oh my God, we're going to go to space. We're going to terraform. Woo! You know, kind of like the AI hype. Oh my God, AI, we're going to, you know, have humanoid robots and all this other crazy technology. And people get excited. The AI hype happens and... AI stocks pump like they have been recently, right? So now the question is, is space technology the next, you know, is that going to be the next thing to get its hype cycle more than anything? I don't know. I, we, we, you know, it's, it's, it's one of those things you don't know until it happens. But right now there's a setup here. You know, we're creating higher lows. Buyers stepped in on Friday. And if we can break that one six... It's going to be money in the bank. And you can see here, space battery technology market size projected to reach $6.56 by 2032, playing a critical role in space exploration. I know I don't really talk about space or any of that, but hey, we've got to start somewhere. And this one's looking pretty good for a, a gap close to 220. If it closes that gap, I mean, that's a 50 percent right there. But do take the loss. Again, I don't think you want to hold this one long term, in my opinion. But uh, there's good risk to reward ratio here. And as we can see here. Cedar Space announces Lizzie Set to ready for launch has been turned over to SpaceX and is ready for launch on the bandwagon to rideshare mission, which is targeted for no earlier than December of 2024. Four. Cidus, Cidus, it's so weird to say it, Cidus Space, Cidu, ticker, 
an innovative Agile Space Mission Enabler announced the successful completion of the launch processing of Lizzie Sat 2 at the Astrotech Space Operations Facility at Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. Space Force! We're going to have a Space Force, by the way. Like, we already have one, but, like, imagine... I, I'm talking, like, it's going to be big. So, again, really think about what's coming ahead and where the hype is going to be, where the volume is going to be brought into, which is going to be the space stocks, in my opinion. So keep an eye on ASTS as well, but uh, we'll, we'll see with ASTS. We'll see what happens with that one. But right now, we're focused on SIDU. But yeah, that's... Uh, let me see if there's anything else. Let me look at the ratings. I am curious about the ratings. We do have some analyst ratings. I wonder... I always look at the ratings to see what they have to say. Whoa, 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 whoa. You guys seeing what I'm seeing here? We got analyst price target of $10 with a buy rating. Interesting. This came out on 4-8-2024. So this came out uh, in April, back when it was... <laughs> yeah, let me see. Okay, yeah. So it came out around this time, that, that analyst coverage. It did hit a high of 10 so like I'm saying right now, if we go for that gap close, it's going to be money in the bank. And if it holds a bottom, then you guys know what I'm going to do. You guys know what I'm going to do. If this stock holds a bottom somewhere and it just keeps doing what, what Bed Bath, not Bed Bath & Beyond. I keep saying Bed Bath & Beyond, not Bed Bath & Beyond. Uh, BBAI stock, for those of you who know what I'm talking about, Big Bear. If it keeps doing a Big Bear, by, by doing a Big Bear, I mean, let me switch to the weekly for you guys. You can see very clearly... AI hype, the AI hype dies. AI hype and rinse and repeat. Look at that. It's it's very clear and obvious. That's why everything was pumping. I mean, look at Soundhound, AI stock. Woo! This one actually, I mean, look, speaks for itself. Just look at that chart. AI hype comes down. AI hype, rinse and repeat. So, although this one, that one specifically can continue going. Because uh, that one has the most potential out of all the ones that were pumping. But with regards to Cedar Space, if it holds a bottom... I will be looking to abuse that bottom, right? I will be looking to buy the bottom and flip it over and over and over again. Take advantage of the 30 to 50% pops. That's me, though. If you want to hold it long term, I don't advise that. I, you know, I'm not a financial advisor, but I, I just wouldn't do it. I would more so just take advantage of the pumps and just take the loss. Be okay with taking the loss if it breaks down below uh, 115. All right, guys. So that's the play. That's what I'm watching out for. And uh, I think the cycles are just going to repeat, in my opinion. Uh, this is just something I've noticed, is the cycles are just going to repeat. AI stocks will get hype, they'll pump, then they'll dump, then probably space technology is going to pump and then dump, and then the cycle just rinse and repeats. And, uh, you know, might as well take advantage of those cycles, right? It's that simple. And I know some of you has, have asked me, is it really that easy? Do you just wait for the bottom and, and just buy there? And yeah, it is that easy. But a lot of people don't have patience and discipline. And that lack of patience and discipline is usually because they they want to get in here at 296 or they want to get in here at 354 because they believe, oh my God, it's going to go to the moon. It's going to go to $100. I don't want to miss out. I don't want to miss out. So they chase or they buy at the worst time possible. And yes, I agree. Sometimes some stocks are going to go to the moon and they're never going to come back to this previous bottom. That happens and that's okay. That's why you have a, a giant watch list. As you can see, you have a giant watch list of stocks and some of them are going to bottom out. Eventually, some of them will. Some might not, but there will be ones that bottom out. Look at AITX here. You see the bottom? Oh, you see that huge pump? Ooh, 500 percenter. Came down anyways. There's always going to be a stock that has a bottom that you can take advantage of. So that's why you have a you know a giant watch list of uh, stocks that hold bottoms. Anyways, this isn't really a bottom play. It's more of a keep an eye on it for a bottom play in the future if it holds a bottom. But it's more so a breakout play above 162 for that gap close to 216. So there you go, guys. That is it for the video. As always, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I will see you in the next one.